I love me a good joint. Now my wife, on the other hand, she likes to vape pen. But every time she tries to offer it to me when it's really inconvenient for me to smoke a J, you know, funk up the room, you want the pen? No, I don't want that sucky thing. I want to smoke a J. But come to find out, vaping pot is more powerful than smoking it studies find. More people are using cannabis as legalization spreads, and they should know that vaping pot can cause hallucinations, vomiting, paranoia. Researchers say, Dang! Pot inhaled through a vape device produces a more powerful high, and often with more deleterious side effects than the smoke version, a new study finds. At the same level of THC, the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana Vaping led to a higher blood concentrations of the chemical than smoking, as well as higher levels of cognitive and psychomotor impairment and a higher incidence of adverse effects such as vomiting, anxiety, hallucinations, and feelings of paranoia by the JAMA Network Open. It's important to understand the impact of vaping as more and more states legalize cannabis and the drug becomes more easily accessible, said the study's lead author, Tori Spindle, a postdoctoral research fellow at John Hopkins School of Medicine. More people are coming into cannabis dispensaries and using for the first time in a while or for the first time ever, Spindle told NBC News. They should be aware of vaping will produce stronger effects. We found that there's a fine line sometimes between a dose that produces the desired effect and one that is way too strong. Welcome to Impact Factor, your weekly dose of commentary on a breaking medical study. This week, we're going green with a look at this study appearing in JAMA Network Open that takes the lead okay. for my favorite sentence ever to appear in a medical journal. Historically, <laughs> cannabis has predominantly been smoked using various implements such as joints, pipes, bongs, and blunts. Yes, my personal favorite being joints. I think the fact that this carries a footnote is the best part. In any case, recreational marijuana has been legalized in nine states, and it seems likely more are on the way. I'm looking at you, Connecticut Governor-elect Ned Lamont. People who haven't ever smoked pot, or maybe haven't since that one time they tried in college and spent two hours trying to define what a corner really is, may be trying it again. And when they try, they may use the new hotness of vaping to deliver THC. Into she was market. getting it. Now, thanks to researchers at Johns Hopkins, we have high quality pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic data to suggest. Oh, what kind of data? Well, at least they took a study. That's the important part, but they tried to quantify what kind of effects you're getting from the different material that you're smoking. So I at least appreciate that. John Hopkins School of Medicine. Just what the reefer will do in that situation. What you gonna okay, do when reefer goes wild on you? Healthy adults who were not frequent users of marijuana, most of them hadn't smoked in at least a year. Each of those 17 individuals came in once a week for 12 weeks. During their visit, they either smoked or vaped pot at 10 or 25 milligrams of THC or placebo pot. These visits were randomized, allowing each participant to serve as her or his own control, allowing for pretty robust conclusions, despite the small sample size. After they inhaled, and by the way, they were forced to smoke all of what they were given. Oh, shit. A battery of cognitive tests. And oh, There was definitely probably some people in there who was so up, like freaking out, paranoid, laying out, head magnet, head stuck to the table. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. THC content. All the tests told the same story. Vaping delivered substantially more THC to the bloodstream. Ah. And substantially greater cognitive effects compared to smoking. Take a look at the peak THC levels under the different conditions. Vaping okay. 10 milligrams of THC led to nearly as high THC levels as smoking 25 milligrams of THC. And Damn. And subjective effects were right in line too. Vaping led to higher scores for pleasant feelings, but also more paranoia and dry mouth. Cognitive ability suffered more in the vaping group as well, particularly in the divided attention task. So yeah, don't, you know, 
doobie and yeah water. you're gonna have a hard time moving milligrams of thc was enough to make two participants vomit but those doses actually pale in comparison to what is available at recreational marijuana shops in massachusetts for example a one gram joint called face rec containing 22 percent thc face rec cox. that's roughly tenfold higher amounts of thc than what was used in the high dose group in this study so what's the take home people who haven't smoked pot in a long time be careful the effects are real if you're going to realize that vaping will deliver more drug don't operate machinery under any circumstances and remember that just because a study is small doesn't mean it should totally harsh your mellow for medscape i'm perry wilson so that was interesting to note they tore people up 17 of them and yeah the the, the data's in vaping seems to be 22 percent better than smoking a flower so um i'm about to go ask my wife for the pen i'll see y'all later leave a comment below